It's week 13 of the NFL, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Browns and the Rams, and it's all up next. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. Oh, a good return up past the 30. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. And they will be let out by their 6-3 quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We look at this Browns defense. Now they've certainly had their struggles against the run at the 30th ranked unit out of 32 teams in the NFL. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The numbers for him from a week ago. Seven catches, 98 yards, and a score. And they think they have a matchup advantage in this one. They're going to try and find some space for him to work and make sure he touches the football. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They'll look to throw again. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down, they'll run it here. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush is just too often your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Back to throw here. And that went to the right side and incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On second down, they'll run it here. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. How about this opening drive? Play number 12 now. This is third down. Zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. A great effort there. His eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Rams' decision to go for it pays off with six points. I think going for it there on the opening drive CD, if you're that close to the end zone, seems like a no-brainer, and they're able to cap things off with a touchdown. I think that he was imagining the message he would send to his team if he called for the field goal unit at that point. Great drive. Got it all the way down there. You're telling your offense, I believe in you, and you're also telling your defense, hey, if they don't score, we've got it covered. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 
So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting out a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Woods. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. Well, we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. The Browns send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind to, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. And it's a short one here. Complete to his tight end. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 36. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Pretty nice aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. Here's second and three. They'll set up to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll look to throw here. And his throw is incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. Again, he'll drop to throw. His throw caught at about the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. And his kick is indeed good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. From the 29, here's second and three. Back to throw. And a good throw here that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. He'll look to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it's second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. The Browns at 1-10 now on the year. Yeah, they've lost three straight here, and it kind of goes without saying, I guess, but they could certainly use a win. Yeah, no doubt about that. There's a difference between a losing stretch and a losing streak, and right now, they're not playing their best football, but if they were to fall here, and now you're looking at going four games without a win, things can start compounding themselves pretty quickly from this point forward. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Third and goal. This L.A. Rams defense will try to bow up once more. They're going to look to throw. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. So on fourth down, Kevin Stefanski trots out the field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added on to their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Second and nine now. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Now back to throw. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Taking it about the 16. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 
32-yard line. They'll set up a throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. He'll drop to throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Back to throw now on first down. Pass complete. He's got Woods streaking across the field. The Browns try to get back and set quickly here. Time ticking away. Second and four. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. Second and five. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Back to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. David Bell, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still that time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Now the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. He's going to let this go. Back in the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there's not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete and he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line the Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one and this one is right through. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? 
A PAT? That's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts? You really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Browns drive about to get started. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's got his man on the out route. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. How to approach this. Third down. 16 yards to go. They'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he sacked for a loss of 12. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. He'll take it at the 42. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. from the gun he'll hand this off taken down at the 30 in the first half he was held in check on the ground but despite that lack of production they still have the lead yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that if they could actually get production from their lead horse that would help open up this offense and widen this margin too oh he's got a man wide open complete and they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 14. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown! A 14-yard touchdown. And the Rams are able to extend their lead. So a nice touchdown pass for the rookie there. And you know, as they go down the stretch, look, they're not a playoff team. This is just confidence building and growth time for him, right? Yes, yeah, the game within the game, isn't it? Because... Every team wants to win all games on their schedule. But the development of this rookie quarterback is paramount for this team. So you're exactly right. Every rep, doesn't matter what the game, what the situation, what the score, valuable for him, valuable for his team as they look towards next year. Extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the 8-yard line. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. He'll look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The official 
officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. 51 yards on the punt there. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he gets it down to the 32. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. Back to throw here. So we get a traffic there, and that's complete. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. They'll look to throw again. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing, because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They'll look to throw here. And he comes back with one complete. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So now the Rams send out the field goal team here from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. The Cleveland offense ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Ball at the 24 at a second and 11. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. This caught out left by Bell. So five yards here, five on the play. And now third down and six to go. He'll look to throw. 
Right back to Bell, and it's caught once again. And they're able to stop him short. On third and six, they'll only pick up four. The Browns send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11. At the Back to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. They'll set up to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Here comes the Rams punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And take it right on the 30. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And they'll come up second and seven. They're going to look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of 9. So from the 37, here's second down and 1. Now back to throw, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He'll drop to throw. And that's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him, and his first read was covered just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he's going to pick up the Browns' first down. They only needed one, but it ends up being a gain of six and moves the chains. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking left sideline, it's complete. 23 yards, the final tally. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible. Try and, and now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out. And we're going to get a review of that last play. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Second and goal from inside the five. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Browns have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone?
So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Quick hitter here, it's complete. We'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A handoff as they run the counter play. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams get an important score there to extend their lead here this fourth quarter. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. return man showing it here still going past the 30 and how about that return as he's all the way inside the 20 yard line and that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now they've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change almost like it's a turnover they've got to go out there and try and stop them but boy what a tough spot they're in Here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. They'll drop the throw. decision there, no one open, he just throws it away, and that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Got to try it here, he's back to throw. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one.
So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Despite some tough running, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. They'll come up facing third and five. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And I don't think he got there, no. Gee, short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for.